As Hong Kong's population continues to grow and the demand for housing continues to increase, it is necessary to expand our transport infrastructure to allow people to travel without hindrance. One of the aspects of this is expanding our railway transit infrastructure. Many new lines, stations, and extensions have been proposed to the government, ranging in their feasibility and usefulness. The first proposal that we will look at is the South Island Line West. The South Island Line East has already been completed and opened in December 2016. The South Island Line West proposed a new line from Hong Kong University to Wong Chuk Hang through Queen Mary Hospital, Cyberport, Wafu, Tinwan, and Aberdeen. It will help connect new areas in the southern district and alleviate traffic on the Pok Fulam Road. The line was first proposed in the 1980s as part of an extension of the East Kowloon Line. It was never built and now forms part of the Sha Tin to Central Link. Speaking of the Sha Tin to Central Link, the next proposal that we will look at is the Phase 1 of the SCL, the Chun Ma Line. This line will connect the West Rail Line and the Ma'an Shan Line through Kowloon City. When it opens, it will be the longest railway in Hong Kong, excluding the high-speed rail. It will run from Tun Wun to Wu Kai Sha via Hong Kong, Ho Man Tin, To Kuo Wan, Sung Wang Toi, Diamond Hill, In Kang, and Tai Wai. This section was originally planned with Zhuan Shan Station between Diamond Hill and Hin Kang, but this was never built as the steep terrain made constructing a station there impractical. Instead, the government invested money in better walking and bus connections with the nearby Diamond Hill MTR station. This section of the SCL was severely delayed due to several reasons. Artifacts of archaeological importance were uncovered during construction in Sung Wang Toi, causing the halting of construction there. But most importantly, the contractors tasked with the construction of the new section in Hong Kong Station were found to have been cutting corners during the construction of flooring. The rebar and the reinforced concrete used in the station was found to have been cut short, reducing its strength. The investigation that followed caused delays in construction. The MTR opened the first phase of the Tunma Line from Taiwai to Kai Tak on the 14th of February 2020, and the MTR hopes that the rest of the Tunma Line will be completed by the end of 2021. The second phase of the SCL is the section from Hong Kong to Admiralty via Exhibition. This section has also been delayed due to the faults at Hong Kong Station and numerous cost overruns. This extension of the East Rail Line was planned as Hong Kong's fourth harbour crossing to relieve congestion on the Chun Wan Line, specifically Admiralty Station. Length constraints at Admiralty's platforms meant that the East Rail Line trains would have to be shortened to 9 cars from the current 12, which are the longest in operation in Hong Kong. The next proposal is the Northern Line, which is planned to run from West Rail Line's Kamsheng Road to the East Rail Line's Lokma Chow Station and a new Ku Tung Station. The line was planned in anticipation of the Ku Tung North new development area and to allow easier border crossings for the Western New Territories using a wide bifurcation. The line was originally planned to have Auta, Ngatam, Mei, and Santin as intermediary stations, but due to the decreasing rate of Hong Kong's population growth, these stations are no longer deemed necessary and are unlikely to be built. However, in the second railway development strategy of 2014, or RDS2, there was a proposed tentative plan to expand the line from Ku Tung to Taku Ling in the future to serve the planned Fan Ling North and Taku Ling New Towns. It will go through Shung Shui North, Fan Ling North, Kwan Tae, and Ping Che. The North Island Line is another railway extension proposal, not to be confused with the Northern Line. It proposes extending the Tung Chung Line and the Chun Kwan O Line to a new Tamar station via Exhibition and Causeway Bay North. This proposal is still tentative because there hasn't been much increase in the population in the new line's catchment areas and because reclamation plans in Victoria Harbour have been put on hold. The RDS2 suggested that construction start in 2021, but it is looking unlikely because of the insufficient demand for a new heavy rail network in that area, especially because the island line is so close by. The next proposal is the East Kowloon Line. This is not to be confused with the East Kowloon Line that was proposed in the 1970s before the implementation of the modified initial system. 
The proposal suggests a new line running from Diamond Hill to Po Lam via Choi Wan, Sun Tin, Sao Mao Ping, and Po Tat. The Sai Kung District Council requested the government to build a Hong Sing station before Po Lam, but there has been no official confirmation of this station. This line will be beneficial as the surrounding area is being developed into residential estates like the Anderson Quarry. This line can relieve the load of the Kuntong line, and when the train service of the Chunquan O line is disrupted, this line can be used as an alternative route to the Kuntong line. If accepted, this will be one of the most expensive proposed railway lines due to the hilly terrain in Sao Mao Ping. It will cost approximately $3.5 billion per kilometer. A new station, Hengshui Q, has also been proposed on the West Rail Line to serve the planned Hengshui Q New Town developments. It would also help serve the existing communities and residential developments there. The next proposal is the extension of the Tungchung Line to Yatung and the opening of a new station to serve the newly reclaimed Tungchung New Town Extension Phase 4. They have been tentatively called Tungchung East and West, although this has not been confirmed. This extension will serve the Yatung Estate and the Tungchung Extension. The West Rail Line expansion to Tunmun South has also been proposed. However, this may not happen because of the visual pollution caused by the overground extension from Tunmun Station. It is impossible to build the extension underground due to the geographical constraints of the area. The next proposal is tentative and reserved for the distant future. The first phase of the Western Express Rail Link will connect Hong Kong's Chep Lap Kok International Airport with Shenzhen's Bao An International Airport via the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge Boundary Crossing Facilities and Qinghai in Shenzhen. Phase 2 consists of a domestic spur line from a new Siu Ho Wan station on the Tungshung Line till the proposed Tunmun South Station on the West Rail Line. This will reduce journey times between Tungchung and Tunmun and relieve congestion in Namchong. Phase 3 consists of a boundary crossing spur line from the proposed Hengchu Q station on the West Rail Line till Qinghai Station in Shenzhen. An extension of the island line till Siu Saiwan has also been proposed. There were three considered proposals. One, a bifurcation from Hungfa Chun. Two, a separate line from Hungfa Chun. And three, an extension of the island line. The bifurcation idea was dropped because it would reduce train frequencies in Chaiwan and Siu Saiwan, and it would complicate the train system because of alternating destinations. The separate line idea was also dropped because there would be no point in extending the railway till Siu Saiwan if passengers would have to change trains anyways. Plan 3 was considered the most feasible, but even it was impractical. The overground Chaiwan station is blocked by buildings, and extending the tracks would require the rebuilding of various residential developments. It was advised that the government hold the plan till the sufficient demand was created by development in the Siu Saiwan region. Another impractical proposal was the Tunmun to Chunwan Coastal Railway. This idea proposed a new line between Chunwan West and Tunmun following the coastline. It would stop at Samxing, Sokunwan, Tsinglung Tao, Shamseng East, and Bayview. This line will almost certainly not be built in the near future because of the insufficient population living in those areas and the unsubstantial time savings between Chunwan and Tunmun. The Environmentally Friendly Linkage System, abbreviated to EFLS and commonly called the Kai Tag Monorail, is a government proposed monorail system in the Kai Tag development area with 12 stations. The monorail would provide transportation infrastructure for the newly developed land on the old Kai Tag runway, which I made a video about, which you can find in the description. The new line will start from Kowloon Bay Station and end at Kun Tong Station. It will stop at Hoi Bun Road, Kowloon Bay Business Area, Kai Chung Road, Richland Gardens, Station Square, Stadium, Metro Park, Runway Precinct, Cruise Terminal, and the Kuntong Ferry Pier. Right now, this is what the proposed future of the MTR looks like. But as we've seen from the past, proposed lines often do not come to fruition, and we cannot predict what the future will hold for us. I will soon be making a video on all the proposed lines that were never built because of unanticipated changes in Hong Kong's development.